guys, today I'm here with a review of Alice in Zombieland by Gina Schwalter, the December read-along pick for the Little Book Club. The main character, Alice, is in a car accident with her family and unfortunately she's the only one to survive. Just before Alice loses consciousness right after the accident, she thinks she's seeing these crazy, crazy things. The zombies diving into her father's body. I first want to say that if you think this is going to be an Alice in Wonderland kind of retelling with zombies, it's not at all. I found that the only real correlation with Alice in Wonderland was the main character's name and rabbit-shaped clouds. I went into this book expecting a little more of a relationship between this and the original story, but there wasn't, so I was a little disappointed on that. So if you do intend on picking up this book, I think that's something you should know because just from the title alone you kind of make that assumption to begin with. Okay so continuing on with that strain of thought I went into this knowing that it was going to be different from what I expected because I had heard that this book wasn't what you thought it was going to be. Pretty much everyone that had read the book that talked about it mentions this at some point but even going into this expecting to be a little surprised I suppose it was still a little too out there for my taste in terms of what the actual zombies were because they're not what you typically think of when you hear the word zombie. I'm not sure if going into that is a spoiler or not so I'm not going to go into any detail but the zombies in this book just felt a little too weird for my taste. I don't know, to me it seemed like it was trying a little too hard to be unique and different. This book is also in a high school setting which is very hit or miss for me. Sometimes I'm a little hesitant going into some contemporary books or uh, paranormal that seem to be in that high school setting because I'm not a huge fan of all of that angst and the drama between like different cliques. Just all of that jazz isn't my cup of tea personally. So having all that alongside Alice's home life and the zombie threat uh, made it a very angsty atmosphere I suppose which I personally wasn't a huge fan of. I also found that this book raised a lot of questions that didn't seem to be answered. I know that a lot of these will be answered in later books but some of them just didn't seem to quite make enough sense. Sometimes you can kind of guess what's going on behind it or it it kind of makes sense with what's happening but some things just seemed like they were included to add tension or kind of move the story along. It's really hard to say at this point because obviously a lot of things should be answered later on in that series but at this point I'm left kind of like ye? Ye? So while I did have quite a few problems with the story and the plot, these were things that I definitely noticed while I was reading but I didn't really think too much about it until I'd put the book down and then reflect back and kind of be like, oh, I didn't really like that about it. I guess while I was reading it there was something keeping me pulled in a little bit and I'm not sure what it was to be honest. I can't pinpoint what it was. I think it might be the main character's voice. She's quite a snarky and humorous character which I always love so that might have been the thing keeping me reeled in. However it took a little getting used to her voice and the writing of this book as well. When I first started the book I was a bit iffy about it but I definitely started getting used to it. I think the main thing was that at some points the character could be quite melodramatic at times uh, but I definitely liked her snark. Apart from that I don't have too much else to say about her apart from I wasn't a huge fan of her fixation on the love interest and the love interest himself I wasn't a big fan of. He was kind of that stereotypical alpha male character and I didn't really see any chemistry between the two characters so I didn't really understand why they were developing some kind of relationship Relationship because there's this weird thing that happens between them and if you've read the book you'll know what I'm talking about but that was one of the main things that raised questions in my mind and that didn't make much sense to me it didn't seem like there was any basis behind it it's it's very hard to explain this without explicitly saying what it is and I don't want to spoil anything so <laughs> Yeah, that was my terrible, terrible explanation. I think for the most part I was just really disappointed in this book. I honestly would have loved this so much more if it wasn't in the particular setting it was. I think it would have been super awesome if there was kind of like a zombie land, like you go into zombie land, like Alice would go into Wonderland and then just crazy shiz had happened there. Uh, it had turned all dark and gloomy and infested with zombies. I think in the back of my mind I was hoping that that's what the story would be like, but it really wasn't and 
That was a bit of a letdown for me, uh, unfortunately. But a lot of people do seem to enjoy this book and I do understand why. I do see kind of the appeal behind it. Those that are a fan of books that are set in high school and all of that angst and tension that comes from that kind of setting and the people involved. And if you do end up liking the zombies that are present in this book, then I definitely think you'll have a much more positive experience reading this book than I did. Unfortunately, it just wasn't really the book for me. But like I said, I can understand why people have enjoyed this book. It just, it didn't quite work for me. So in saying that, I rated this one a two out of five stars. Thinking back on it, I'm not sure if that's a little too generous, but I'm going to stick with the two stars. If you guys did end up reading this book, I would love to hear your thoughts about it. Whether you did or did not end up liking this book, I look forward to seeing some of your comments down below. I'm very hesitant to continue on with this series. I hate leaving things unfinished, but the problems I had with this one, I'm not sure if they'll be redeemed in the future books at all. I don't know, if any of you read this book and had the same issues that I did, if you continued on with the series, does it get any better? Or do these things still continue to be a bit of a problem in your eyes? I'm very curious to know. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, if it made any sense at all. It was kind of difficult trying to explain things without spoiling things. That's all that I have for today. So I'll see you guys next time.